So as we've been driving down I-10, all the way since New Mexico, we've been seeing billboards and signs for what you can see behind me, the Thing Museum. So we have no idea what it is. So we're gonna go in and take a look and try and find out what it is. So join us on this mini experience. So right in the entrance, you've got the Thing All New Mystery now open. They've got some interesting kind of artifacts right here. And then on the other side, it's a dinosaur skeleton. I'm sure it's not real, but still cool. And naturally, since it's a roadside attraction, they have lots of swag for sale. And here's a shirt, Unique Oddities, Arizona, Visit the Thing. All right, so we just got in. What if we are not alone in the universe? There's it's aliens versus dinosaurs, and it's an alien riding a dinosaur. Once you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, no matter how improbable, must be the truth. So what if what you are about to see is true? It's dark, but I think that, oh, the lights come on. They're motion activated. So we've got a dinosaur exhibit here. A T-Rex about to eat a Triceratops. And this wall has a little bit of the history of dinosaurs, like the periods. There's some speculation that dinosaurs were ruled by aliens. several clans it looks like. The Milzerath clan and the Amentria clan. So let me know in the comments below if you're team Milzerath or team Amentria. Looks like they were equipping the dinosaurs with some kind of mind control, neural control. And here they are. I'm not sure which clan this is. But we're going to go very, very slowly through so they don't see us. Moving on, oh, what do we have here? So here's some more schematics. Oh, and we missed on the wall behind us some, some alien language. See, oh, that's a huge T-Rex. We're gonna see him in just a minute. Error incompatible. Apparently they're not gonna be able to control the T-Rex. And the T-Rex ate one of the aliens. And their weaponry. Some ancient petroglyphs. Let's see what this says. What's behind us here? Mysterious cave dwellers. Speculation that they may have lived in the caves. Let's see, we'll get the sign first. Here's some large bones. All right, and here's a recreation of some dinosaurs or some aliens with some velociraptors fighting a giant T-Rex. This guy is quite large, possibly life-size, to include human-sized arms. Google Translate didn't work on these, on this language, so I can't say what it says. In the aftermath, perhaps there's speculation that the dinosaurs went extinct 
due to a giant war between the aliens and the dinosaurs. Yeah, we gotta go very slowly and don't make any noise. So what if human history as you know it is all a lie? Life is renewed as the mammals start to take over. Return of the aliens. Continuing on, ancient history retold shows Egypt, Assyria, Babylonia. And here's Persian Empire. Moving into about 300 to 38 or 330 BC to 30 AD. It's the ancient Roman Empire. Rise and fall of kingdoms. Now we're moving into the United States. Into the Wild West. And here's some historic farm machinery and different type artifacts from US history. Some wagons and early cars as move in. A tractor. And there's a telephone. Now we're into World War One. Some different posters and photographs from the era entering the Great Depression era. Looks like World War II. Daddy, there's an alien driving a car. What? What if aliens have manipulated our entire history? What if humans descended from ancient cosmic beings? What if aliens were our chauffeurs? And what if those aliens secretly control our minds? And here's a wall of the weird. There's some Sasquatch, Loch Ness Monster, the pyramids. El Chupacabra. Yep, a Chupacabra, or El Chupacabra. What if Elvis was abducted by aliens? And what if They've always been here. Stonehenge, Roswell, crop circles. And what if the Apollo moon missions found an alien spaceship? And now the mystery of the desert. I think we're getting 
close to the thing. Looks like we're entering a mine shaft. Some large dinosaur looking bones. So here lies the thing. And I think here it is right here. Oh my goodness. It is a mummy of some sort. In fact, two mummies. It looks like an adult and perhaps a, a child. And they've added a, a rattlesnake in the background for effect. This is about as close as I can get. I've got to say that the larger of the two definitely does not particularly look human, humanoid, but as you notice right here, the mouth kind of almost protrudes out. And then the smaller one actually has a totally different facial structure, although it also looks like it's much less decomposed as the face looks more intact and the legs are very very long compared to a much shorter torso which tends to be generally consistent with human uh, thoughts in in imageries of what extraterrestrials might look like so their last parting words for us as we depart the thing what if all you've seen is true? And where we come out is actually right back at the photo op. Here's for your IG. Hashtag Bolin's the thing. Hashtag mystery of the desert. So that wraps up our journey into the thing. Uh, roadside attraction in Arizona. We're maybe, I don't know, 20 minutes west of Wilcox on I-10 is the best I can uh, give for it, but there's billboards everywhere, uh, so it's hard to miss it. And in fact, I'll, I'll grab the, uh, the exit that it's on when we, uh, when we head back out for anybody interested. Uh, very uh, neat museum. Uh, one of the employees in there was saying they recently um, redid it and prior to this it was a couple different buildings, old buildings that were outside, so they had a, a company come in to help kind of completely redo it, added in the dinosaurs, which weren't there previously and made it much more family friendly. And then of course it culminates with the the thing itself. So all in all, it's, it's quite an enjoyable roadside attraction. Um, if you get a chance to stop here, uh, it shouldn't take more than, you know, 20 minute stop uh, really, depending on how much time you spend in it. And there's a very large store as well with a Dairy Queen, lots of uh, gifts you can buy. So I hope you liked the video. If so, uh, please give us a thumbs up please consider subscribing to the channel and then ring the bell below to get notifications of all of our future experiences and join us on our next one. So the exit for the thing is Johnson Road. You'll see a shell sign and then it's uh, exit number is 322.